that welcome back to my English class so this time around we are going to focus on speaking activity for unit 3 the world of sports so what are we going to achieve today here are the learning objectives for today's lesson firstly to differentiate between compare and describe phrases Secondly, to explain information from photograph by comparing the two photos. And finally, to produce a voice note answering the related questions given. So this is the first task for you to do. Alright, but before that, you look at the download box there on your right hand side. When you talk about two photos, it is a good idea to look at both photos together first and say what the common theme between them is. Then, focus on each photo individually. Say what it shows and how it differs from the other photo. And finally, remember to answer the questions about the photos. So the task is Look at the instruction here. When you are asked to talk about two photos, you need to compare them. Say why, what is it similar or different about them, as well as describe what you can see in each photo. So look at the phrases below and see whether you could use them to compare two photos or only describe one photo at a time. So there are about eight sentences, incomplete sentences, for you to differentiate between it's either for compare or for describing the photos. All right, both uh, the first one, both photos here. So which one is the correct answer for this one? Yes, the correct answer for the first one is to compare because when you look at the keywords there, both photos. So meaning to say, you have to compare between one photo with another photo. So for number two until number eight, you try to do on your own and later I will share the answer at the description Below. So here are the language band, the phrases, the sentences that you can use when you want to compare the photos. Number one, the similarities or differences between the photos are next. Both photos show Next The common theme of the photos is Next The photos have In common Next The photos are similar or different because And finally in both photos, I can see... Okay, here are only some of the examples that you might use later when you want to produce a conversation or when you are going to prepare for speaking activities. Okay, this is the task that you have to do. You have to prepare a conversation between student A and student B. Alright, uh, you have to do it individually since you are only at home alone. Your friends are not staying together with you so you don't have any choice. You have to prepare a conversation. You may choose between picture A and B or picture C 
and D. Okay, so we try to look at picture A and B. Student A will compare the two photographs. So the question is, what are the what are the advantages of each spot? Meanwhile, student B, the question will be, do you prefer indoor or outdoor spots? For second set between picture C and D. We start with student B. Compare the two photographs. The question is, why do you think each spot is popular? And student A will reply with the question, do you think it's more important to win or to have fun when you do sports? So that is the task for you to do. And again, you are advised to use the phrases from the language bank earlier and uh, you have to be familiar with all the phrases because the, those phrases will help you to create appropriate comparison sentences and you may focus in particular on correct spelling so this is your task good luck to you Okay, here come another task for you to do. So this task is voice note task. Alright, as part of your attendance today, here comes the speaking task. So what you have to do is to record your answer and send to me via the link that I will provide later at the description. So the question will be, which sports do you think should be taught in school? Are some sports more suitable for boys than girls and vice versa? Is participating in sports the best way to stay healthy? What other ways can we look after our health? And finally, do you think most young people take enough exercise? So you have to answer this question, send your voice only, and then uh, share your voice. You have to upload your voice in the Google form link that I will provide later. So that's the only task for you in today's lesson. So I will see you again next week. Thank you.